I am not a penguin biologist, so I don't know what beer does to penguins. <coughs> hey besties, it's Nat, back again with another video, and today we are indoors. That's right besties, we are doing the first interior build for my post-apocalyptic city core themed island of Tokyo 3. Now, for those of you who are new here, some of you may recognize the name of my island or the setting that we're in right now, this kitchen, or maybe you recognize my player character, Shinji, wearing his little apron because he is a very good little chef. Yes, this is a Neon Genesis Evangelion themed island. And today we are going to be building Misato's apartment. We're going to be decorating all six rooms of my player character's house to look like her apartment from the show. Now, I have mentioned this before in my previous videos about this island, but this island is for everyone. I always lead with it being a post-apocalyptic city core themed island because that's true. So if you haven't seen the show, absolutely no worries. This build is just gonna be a cute, cozy family apartment. And for those of you who have seen the show, it will also be that, so you know, Get excited, besties. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done a video decorating an entire house in one video, and it was really challenging to plan it all out, but I am really excited with the result, and I am so excited to show y'all what I came up with. So grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get right into it. Hey again, besties, it's voiceover Nat. Uh, two things, one, there is a leaf blower outside who is tormenting me. Uh, if you know anything about me, besties, it's that I have a vendetta against leaf blowers, and if I became president, I would have them banned. Um, but second of all, this speed build is going to be a lot less speedy than some of my other speed builds because it's an inside build. So I, I did not speed up the footage as much as normal, but hopefully that allows you to see all of the stuff that I'm doing. Right now we are working on the main room of the house, which is Misato's kitchen, which you saw in the intro. I guess I'll give a brief explainer about the show for those of you who are unfamiliar. Basically, it's about this 14 year old kid named Shinji Ikari and his dad, Gendo Ikari, uh, built a giant robot for him to get into and fight monsters, but he does not want to get in the robot. Um, so there's a lot of tension there. Um, and one of the people who works for Shinji's dad, Misato, uh, invites Shinji to live with her. So that is why we are currently in Misato's apartment. Um, and we are currently placing down uh, tile mats. Basically, if you didn't know, um, you can take custom designs and place them down as individual pieces instead of like the entire floor or the entire wall. Doing them on the wall is a bit trickier because it requires the glow in the dark sticker, but these you can just get right out of your pockets. Um, they're a little bit tricky to place, but I've placed them down to create like a little entrance area. Um, one of the most difficult parts of this build was color matching things because first of all, it's an anime, it's 26 episodes long. Uh, things change color in between episodes. Uh, oh, by the way, those little boxes I placed in the corner, those are the boxes that you get when you move into your tent. And I just didn't open them because um, there's a lot of moving around in the show and I thought it'd be cute to have the boxes, like the moving boxes. Anyways, as I was saying, I really struggled with color matching objects and wallpapers and flooring and lighting. And I hope that it comes out looking okay, or at least recognizable. I think that there are some areas that look more recognizable than others. Um, right now, speaking of areas, oh my God, um, <laughs> we're actually working on the kitchen. Luckily, one thing that Animal Crossing has is like very basic furniture that you would find in a Japanese apartment on account of it being a Japanese game. So uh, the system kitchen, we had it. Unfortunately though, did not have a green refrigerator. I think I placed down a white refrigerator for a while and then I switch it out once we get the microwave because Misato has a green refrigerator with a white microwave on top. And then on the other side of the room, she has another refrigerator, which is different. And we'll get to that in a second, but I eventually replaced it with, I think a locker that is green. And I think it looks really good. Um, but we also placed on the sloppy table. One thing about Misato besties, she is a bit of a mess and I, uh, can relate to that in some ways. Um, her apartment is <laughs> not the cleanest, especially when Shinji moves in, but it becomes it, it becomes very homey over the course of the series. Uh, so I wanted to portray some of that. So we're gonna have some trash, we're gonna have some food lying around, um, but it's not gonna be super messy until we actually get to Misato's bedroom, which will be later. Right now though, once again, we're working on the kitchen area. Lots of very iconic scenes happen in this kitchen. We're gonna have some references to those scenes, including Shinji's iconic mug. We are having that on the table. It was in the intro, I think, but yes, the mug is there. Uh, speaking of iconic things, uh, I just placed down um, <laughs> Pen Pen's fridge. Uh, another piece of Evangelion lore is that Misato has, I don't know if he's 
more of a pet or a roommate, but Misato has a penguin named Pen Pen who lives in her apartment in a refrigerator in the kitchen. I actually have been meaning to villager hunt for Pen Pen. Ooh, right now I'm placing down simple panels next to the door to make it look more like a sliding door. Those are just designs that come with the simple panels. It's not a custom design, uh, just a heads up. Anyways, back to Pen Pen. I am supposed to have Pen Pen on my island as Hopper, but one thing about me besties is I don't know how to count. So I didn't realize that I was running out of space for villagers and I don't know what to do. The current issue I'm having is Genji has the bubble above his head. I'm literally trapped on September 6th. That's actually the day that I recorded this <laughs> in game, not in real life. Um, I'm trapped on that day because Genji has the bubble above his head and I'm considering kicking him out, but I don't know if I wanna kick him out. Um, I think right now I'm about to place down Pen Pen's food bowl. He does eat out of a dog food dish, but he also drinks beer. So make of that what you will. I am not a penguin biologist, so I don't know what beer does to penguins. But anyways, back to Genji. Um, all the villagers on my island are supposed to be Evangelion characters. So Genji is supposed to be Toji, who is one of Shinji's classmates. Um, I also meant to include Kensuke on my island, but once again, besties don't know how to count. So I think I'm gonna try and include Kensuke by having him at my campsite. Um, but the, the issue is that I don't know if I want to kick Genji out or not. Um, I could also kick out Dobi, who is Fuyutsuki. But the thing is, that, like, there's reasons that I like all of the villagers that I would consider kicking out. Like, I like how I have three robots because there's three Evangelions. I like how uh, I'm gonna have, <laughs> I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Raymond be Gendo. And then Lolly is Shinji's mom. And I like that they're both cats. And then same thing with Fuyutsuki and Kaji is they're both wolves and I like that they're both wolves. So I'm not sure if I'd wanna kick them out. And so I'm just, I'm really stuck besties, I'm really stuck. Let me know in the comments. We are still gonna villager hunt because I have to find Raymond, um, but let me know if we should kick out Genji or not. I do have his amiibo, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is stressing me out a little bit. So I would like some advice, um, but we're still working on the kitchen. Another thing about this build that uh, was a challenge um, was the layout of everything. So basically how I tackled this was I actually planned all of the rooms in the room sketch app on my other island. Um, because on my other Switch, I have like the entire catalog. I don't have to worry about not having an item or not being able to see it while I'm doing the room sketch app. So I planned them all out on my other Switch and then I made a list of all the items I needed and then spent literally a week going back and forth to Treasure Islands and order bots and stuff, collecting all the stuff I needed to actually do the build. So I had like backups of like different colors that I liked or different versions of objects that I liked, but the layout was by far the hardest part. Just getting it to look right in Animal Crossing and also like be accessible for me as the player so I can reach all of the rooms, but also look like the show, which is decidedly un-Animal Crossing-like. Besties, if I built this in The Sims, if I had, if I built this in The Sims 4, it would be a one-to-one -one copy. You would not be able to tell the difference. It would be exactly like the show, but Animal Crossing, you have to use your imagination a little bit. I would say that the rooms I struggled the most with on that front are this room and the bathroom, which is actually to the right of the kitchen. Um, and speaking of the bathroom, that, <laughs> that curtain that's in the kitchen, which we'll get to in a second, uh, is in the show, the entrance to the bathroom. But of course, in Animal Crossing, you can't move where the doorways are. And in the Room Sketch app, you also can't move where the doorways are. They're just in the middle. So that was another huge challenge of just like trying to mark out where things actually are going to be in the real build as opposed to in the fake Room Sketch build. Ooh, once again, back to the bathroom for a second. Um, I figured out, I have this blank black custom design that I use for my tunnel in my previous build. And I realized I could use it with the glow in the dark sticker object to make it look like a doorway. So I was like, wait a minute, I'll put glow in the dark stickers behind the, the little curtain and then it'll look like there's an actual doorway back there. And so I use this trick pretty much in every single room and there's gonna be glow in the dark stickers all over this place. Um, the glow in the dark sticker recipe, I believe is a 2.0 update recipe. I don't know if it's locked behind Happy Home Paradise or not. I don't think it is, um, but it is a very useful recipe. Basically, it allows you to place down stickers in the same way you can place down the tile mats that just come with your custom design app. And they're really, really helpful for interior builds. You can make windows and doors and all this cool stuff. Um, and that is how I used them in this room. And we're gonna see them used 
all over the place in this build. But yeah, honestly, I'd say that this was way more challenging than I thought it would be. I thought that I knew how to build a cute little apartment. I have my old island Nautilus where I decorated my entire house top to bottom, like custom designs everywhere, glow in the dark stickers, all this detail and everything. Uh, I spent so much time playing Happy Home Paradise, building cute little apartments for my villagers. So I thought that I knew what I was doing besties and I did not. I did not. I, for some reason, I had the exact same hubris that I had going into my other build, though not quite as much. Not quite as much. I think that I did not anticipate how much time I would spend collecting the items. That, when I said it took a week of my life, that was not a joke. That was real. That was real and it was painful, but it had to be done. Um, <laughs> and I think besides that part, definitely just getting the shape of everything right. I have like too much gene where I can't put something down and I just keep messing with it because I'm a perfectionist. Um, but this room and the bathroom, those were the worst culprits for that, absolutely. Um, actually, oh my god, right now I'm placing down the the, the heart, the heart-shaped welcome sign thing, the door plate. I never used that in my life. Shinji has that on his door in the show, and I was so excited to get to use it. That is the entrance to Shinji's bedroom, and I was so happy that they had that object in the game. It's so, so cute. Um, but yeah, we're working on little little uh, decorative things now. Now we're going to get into like the more referency type stuff. I think right now, I think I'm about to start messing with the phone in the hallway. Another thing that you have to know about Evangelion is that in the Evangelion universe, the show takes place, I believe in 2015, um, but it's not like our 2015. In their universe at the turn of the century, um, there was an event uh, called the Second Impact, where Antarctica exploded. Um, Miss Otto was there, by the way. Not not a fun time for her. Um, but Antarctica explodes, uh, and the Earth is plunged into perpetual summer, so it's kind of like a bit of a post-apocalypse type of situation, hence the theme of the island. Um, but all of their technology also froze in the late 90s when this event happened. So uh, there's a lot of landlines in this house, and in fact, a lot of important events revolve around the phone, especially for Misato. If you know, you know. Um, that uh, calendar, by the way, it's not a calendar, it's a periodic table, but I thought that it looked like the calendar that Misato had where she shows Shinji when he moves in, like, you do the chores on this day and I'll do the chores on that day. It's very adorable. So I had to include some type of homage to that. Uh, but yeah, they have the fax machine in the hallway. I also put the fax machine in Misato's room and there's like landline phones everywhere. Uh, once again, I, I tried to color match them as best I could. Uh, I'm placing down um, some canned food and some bottles. There are a lot of empty bottles in Misato's house, and there's also going to be some uh, blue trash cans going in. Um, I also added this red kettle, which I believe is in a scene. If I can find a picture of it, I will put it. But I literally scoured every episode that had a scene in the apartment just to like spot little objects that might be lying around that I could add um, that would make sense. Uh, so it was a little bit of me being creative, but a lot of me just like being very meticulous, I guess would be the word of trying to figure out uh, how things should look and what things would be appropriate to add. I also had a lot of help. First of all, Evangelion fans are hardcore and there are full diagrams like floor plans, detailed floor plans, and then also like concept art that, that got online uh, of Misato's entire apartment. So I had all of those photos for reference. Um, I'll try to throw some in right now. Um, I also noticed while I was like Google searching images, um, someone else has built Misato's apartment in Animal Crossing and it's really cool. I'll link you the Reddit post down in the description if you wanna go check it out. I tried not to look at it too much because I didn't wanna like accidentally take too much from that other person's build, but I thought that was really cool and I wanted to shout it out. So uh, we're almost done with the kitchen. I needed to add more light also. That was, it's so dark in here. One thing that I'm not used to besties is building rooms without windows and Misato's apartment has a lot of those. Oh, and I was also picking a song. Originally, I was gonna have music in the house. I was kind of gonna go like kind of ambient noise type vibes, but I wanted to have songs. So um, the one that you're hearing right now is the song that's playing in the kitchen in the house. And then all of the other rooms have their own songs. Um, but yeah, just messing with the lights. We have the iconic mug down. We have a can of, of I think, coffee for Misato. 
Um, oh, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna steam the mug. Okay, besties, you have to steam things. You have to shine things. You have to put on your little apron and you have to shine things. Okay, that's very important to your build. Don't forget to do that. But after Shinji adds some steam to his mug, we will be done with the kitchen. I'm gonna do full tours of all the rooms at the end of the video, but here she is. She's beautiful. And we're moving on to the next room now, which is going to be Misato's living room at the back of the house. This room turned out so cute and actually i think this is the room where i got the most inspiration from that reddit thread um they use this like cityscape wall that looks sort of like windows and i thought that was so perfect for this room in particular that has like floor to ceiling windows um it also has this beautiful red carpet it does not have wooden floors i had to check all of the different floorings of the different rooms oh but here i am uh doing the simple panel that i used in the previous room just so you guys can see it um but we are gonna add in I think a wall in the corner and then later on I'm going to show you guys another trick that I did using the glow in the dark stickers which I am very proud of as well. I had a couple moments during this build where I was like oh I'm kind of a genius actually like maybe 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 I am a, a 400 IQ Animal Crossing player like there's some things that I did in this build that surprised me. I think that was the biggest takeaway that I had from this was even though it was really challenging it it pushed me creatively. <laughs> This sounds so pretentious. I'm literally playing Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, so I had the idea to make it look like a hallway, as I mentioned previously in the kitchen, but uh, it was too tall. I, I was trying to do the entire wall and it looked silly, so I just pared it down to four, just like I had in the other room, and it looks the same size and shape as the actual doorways in the house, so it makes more sense anyways. And it uses way less glow-in-the-dark stickers, which is good for me because I spent a lot of time customizing glow-in-the-dark stickers in this build. And we're about to use even more of them because this, besties, is the first 400 IQ level play of the video. This creator, who I'll put the, I'll put the design right here, but as you can see, they made a code that looks like drapes and you put it on a glow-in-the-dark sticker and then you put the stickers on the wall and stack them on top of each other and it looks like drapes and you can like draw it over a window and it looks so good with this cityscape wallpaper. I'm so obsessed with how this looks. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. It looks exactly like the show. It is so perfect and I'm really trying to conserve my custom design slots um, and it was, it was a struggle not to download more codes for the inside of the house, but this one was absolutely a necessity. I'm so glad I downloaded this. I'm gonna have to figure that out later on, but that's that's a problem for me in the future. Me right now is dealing with decorating Misato's living room. And the issue that I had with the living room is that everything in here is like jet black. Like all of her furniture is like black or gray and it all kind of blends together. Like she has a black table and a black like TV stand and a black TV. She has a CRT TV, which is great. Um, she has black uh, cushions on the ground. Everything is black and, and the red really helps. The, the red flooring actually is kind of a sleigh, I think. Um, but everything being so dark and like being the same shade made it really hard for me to decorate. I felt like it was like, this looks wrong. This shouldn't be like this. But then I added in decorations and little trinkets everywhere. One thing about Misato having a messy house is that it's very useful when decorating because it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Throw some trash on the ground. Or honestly, a plant. She has a lot of plants in her house and between all the different rooms, they honestly all kind of look the same, which is why I keep using the same two plants, the Monstera and the Shif the Shifrilla. Is that what it's called? Um, those same two plants in every room because she has them in every room and she's so right for that because those are my two favorite plants in Animal Crossing. So she she just has great taste. I also just threw some art on the wall. If, if, if I do anything besties, just assume that it is a direct reference to the show unless otherwise stated because Pretty much every decoration in this room and pretty much all the other rooms is some type of direct reference, whether it's like literally the painting she has above her TV or it's it's some other type of reference to like an episode. They're all like direct references. I was very meticulous, like I said before. And now of course we are adding in more of the all black furniture. <laughs> she does have a bunch of um, cushions on the ground as well as this little chair, this little seat. She does have this and it's actually black and white stripes in the show, but there's no Able Sisters design that's black and white stripes. And I did not want to use a custom design slot on some stripes to put on a chair. So uh, we're gonna use this gingham. I think it looks cute. 
it works it matches the colors one thing that also really frustrates me about animal crossing especially in this context is the fact that we can't decorate tables more um so the tv stand uh, on the right that on in, in misato's version has a ton of stuff on it like it has it has vases and it has little family photos and it has plants and everything it has a radio and obviously in animal crossing you can only add two things to a two tile wide table so i ended up picking this console not because it necessarily matched uh the show very accurately but because it has all of those things inside of it instead of on top of it so i felt like it made it feel i guess more cozy and more lived in i don't know besties i was just trying to add a little bit of something to this room that wasn't it just completely blank one color it, it was it was it was a lot it was a lot oh and i think i'm gonna jump out of the the building mode uh to turn the tv on because it's set to the to the sci-fi vhs which i thought was really cute we actually end up replacing that tv later but i don't know i just thought it was cute i love i love that old tv so much it's one of my favorite objects from animal crossing period i had it in my house in new leaf too um, but while I'm messing around uh, with this room and especially with these like fake doorways, um, a little bit of geography, I guess, for the house. On the left, that little room on the left is actually Misato's bedroom. And then on the right is a hallway that leads to Shinji and Asuka's bedrooms. Now, besties, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I have been dressed as Asuka in game for weeks. I switched back to Shinji because this is Shinji's player character and his house. I've been dressed as Asuka for weeks. I did not have room for Asuka's bedroom in this house. Um, I tried to make room. Oh, I'm adding um, a pile of boxes next to that hallway to represent when Asuka moved in and she uh, filled Shinji's room with boxes and tried to kick him out of his room. Um, <laughs> but that's the thing, right? That's the thing is that there is no like direct scene that takes place in Asuka's bedroom in the original series. I think there might be one in the rebuilds, but I can't remember and I don't feel like rewatching the rebuilds right now <laughs> to check. So I originally tried to do like a split room type of situation with Misato's bedroom, but there weren't any reference images for her bedroom online that suggested anything other than it was just like Shinji's room. So I was like, instead of doing Shinji's room again with slightly different decorations, I'm just gonna scrap it. I'm gonna give Misato a bigger room so I can decorate it more. Um, so I'm so sorry to Asuka Nation, I have uh, betrayed you, um, but I will make it up to you when we actually decorate Asuka's player character house. Um, but right now we are working on uh, the table and we're setting up a little feast because this is supposed to represent the scene. It's in one of the early episodes, maybe episode two or three, um, where Ritsuko comes over for dinner and Misato makes the terrible ramen because it is Misato's night to cook, unfortunately for them. Um, I literally put the ramen, the spicy ramen on the floor. I thought that was so cute. And I just, I put out a bunch of food. I originally have uh, some sushi on the table, but then I replaced it um, with a different meal. I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, there's magazines everywhere and books. Every time I, I like perfectly match something from the show, I was like, you got this bestie. You are a champion. You came into this so nervous, like, oh, how am I gonna make it look like the show? You got this. This is, you were made for this. And I really was, I really was. The amount of of, of hyperfixation that I am able to, to, to have about something like this and then carry that energy over into Animal Crossing. I was born for this job, besties. And now I get to monologue to all of you about uh, all of the tiny little details that I added that just fill me with joy. And I'm so happy that you're here listening to me do that. <laughs> oh yeah, I swapped it out. Uh, for this Japanese style meal. You know what, besties? While I'm just messing with things in this room, why don't we do a quick life update? Because I haven't had time to do one of those yet in this video because of uh, how much uh, stuff has been happening. Um, but quick life update. First of all, very extremely important. I did a charity live stream two weeks ago for the Palestine Children's Relief Fund, and y'all raised $500 on that one live stream. We played Happy Home Paradise. It was amazing. We built two houses. It went super well. Uh, Y'all were so kind and generous and wonderful. And I cannot stop thinking about that that weekend. That was so amazing. And I mentioned on that stream how I would love to do another fundraiser stream for Palestine. And uh, I was thinking about doing one for Doctors Without Borders. Oh, now I'm remembering. I switched it out for the karaoke machine. And now I'm about to discover something about the karaoke machine, which is that it is a radio. 
So I ended up turning off the radio that is actually playing and I replaced it with the karaoke machine playing, I think, KK Soul? Yeah, that's what I did. Um, but yeah, that stream went amazing. I'd love to do another one. And I think for the next charity live stream, I wanna do dream address tours. Like, so you can donate and then I will tour your dream address. I would absolutely love to do that so much. I'm planning on doing it late next month. So late April, 2024, be on the lookout. If you have a dream address that you want me to see or that you're trying to finish your island right now, there's there's a, a, a rough deadline for you besties. Oh, and speaking of deadlines, uh, we're done with the living room. Look at that. Oh, time just flies when you're having fun, besties. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to the next room, which is the bathroom. So now we are to the right of the kitchen. Like I mentioned before, that little curtain in the kitchen is supposed to lead to the bathroom, but we live in Animal Crossing world where I can't move where the doorways are. So here we are. Um, this room was by far the most challenging room. I might throw up a picture or like a screenshot of one of my like test bathrooms that I was doing in the room sketch app, one of my prototype bathrooms. It was a hot mess, besties. This was where the color matching and the like room layout really started to get to me because the, their bathroom has like a little like laundry room at the front that also has the uh, water closet, um, which we do have an Animal Crossing, which, which I'm thankful for. And then in the back, they have the actual bathtub area. So trying to recreate that in Animal Crossing was a struggle, but I did figure it out in the end because as we've mentioned before, I have a 400 IQ at this game, um, but it was difficult. I did I did have a bit of a, a tough time. And there's a lot of, <laughs> you may have noticed, there's a lot of scooting around in this house um, to get through tight squeezes. That's just gonna be the way that the house is, besties. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I just wanted to get as many of the objects in as I possibly could that were like from the show or were like references to the show. And also just like making the shapes of the rooms, it was very difficult. This room in particular, I just, it's, it's just small and I had to have all of these partition walls and pillars and things to connect everything and it was a hot mess. But I do think that it turned out really cool. And this is sort of what I mean by I feel like I really pushed myself with this build of like, I would never think to build a room like this on my own, like on my own island, in my in my player character house, in one of my villagers houses, I have like a formula of how I build things. And this is not that at all. None of these rooms really fit that formula at all and this room especially. So it felt kind of cool to look at the final product and like take screenshots and everything and be like, this actually looks kind of good. I like this. This is not what I would have done if I hadn't been looking at reference photos from a TV show. So in the same way that like people say, if you're building a Sims house to look at like a reference photo or a real life floor plan of a house, you can do that in Animal Crossing too. Um, I wasn't doing that until now, but now that I have, I really like how it turned out. So I don't know, besties. If, if you haven't built anything in Animal Crossing in a long time, I am gonna encourage you now to open your game and build something while you're watching this. I know we're literally halfway through the video, but like if you weren't already doing that um, and you're not already doing something else like eating or, or, or doing work or drawing or whatever, let me know what you're doing in the comments. I'm nosy. I wanna know what you're up to. Tell me what you're up to right now, Susan. If there are any Susans watching this video, you just got jump scared. I'm sorry, Susan. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Um, I, I love you. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? Okay, let's get back to talking about the bathroom and then get back to the life update. So the thing about Misato's bathroom is that a lot of the characters on the show will sit in the bath and sort of contemplate life. Um, I think at one point I actually turned the bathtub around so that the faucets are on the other side just so that the characters could like lean against the wall. That just made more sense to me. Um, also, I'm about to do something very foolish with the floors in this room that some of you are going to be like, wow, why did she do that? And to that I say, I cannot explain to you how my brain works. I just had to do it, um, but it's going to happen in a minute. Um, basically, uh, remember the tile mats from before, the ones from the other room? We're going to put those on almost every square in this room. Um, I just really liked this wooden flooring and the hallway leading up to the bathroom that includes the, the laundry room has wooden flooring and not tile. So I tried using like the wooden flooring rugs, but then I couldn't put a rug on top of that. So I was like, well, I could just make the whole room wooden flooring and then put the tiles on the floor because I used the custom design tiles for the floor and the walls. Is there a dog barking? There is a dog barking. Okay, pardon the dog. Um, 
<laughs> but I'm about to put down a million and one tile mats on this floor just for the aesthetic because that is what this game is all about, being tedious and doing things for the aesthetic. So that is what we're up to now. But as I was saying, the characters in this show, they love to take a contemplative little bath and think about their life and all the things going on around them. So we had to have the bathroom. Plus, besides Asuka's room, there aren't really any other rooms left in Misato's apartment, so it just made sense. Um, once again, Asuka, I am very sorry. Um, <laughs> this won't happen again, I promise. Actually though, in all seriousness, I am so excited to actually put the other player characters on the island. Basically, for the player characters, I'm just gonna have it be the main four kids, so Shinji, Asuka, Rei, and Kaoru, and I'm gonna have like custom houses for all of them. So obviously Shinji's house is his actual house, Misato's apartment. Um, and then for the rest of the houses, they're gonna be like different locations from the show. Like we're gonna have Nerve headquarters and we're gonna have the school. And I think I'm the most excited for Kaoru's house. I have like very specific plans for his house and I'm so excited for them. Um, also, I figured out that I can use the partition walls to cover up the fact that the bathroom is just like floating in empty space. And I wouldn't call that necessarily a 400 IQ play there. Um, that was sort of just like, oh, duh, like this is obvious. Why didn't you do this before? But I did do it and it does look better. So there, we have that going for us. Um, but I'm also uh, working on the laundry area a little bit. Everything in the laundry area in particular is very, very exact to the show, like the shelving and the, the sink unit and even the rug on the ground is the same color and the laundry machine and everything. It's about as exact as I could get it in the space that I had. <laughs> which is quite small as you can see um and i think it's about to get smaller actually i think that it's one tile too far back so it's gonna get even even littler but that's okay because then we have more room to put plants in the actual bathroom part which is uh the whole point of me building misato's apartment is because she loves plants i didn't realize she was such a plant mom but if you think about it it makes sense because if you think about who in evangelion is a plant dad that would be kaji so Think about that besties oh i'm about to do another another 400 iq play this this shopping basket as a laundry basket my mind besties put a sock on the ground next to it oh i'm a genius i should be in mensa they should give me a a, a nobel prize and a pulitzer for this honestly uh i felt so smart when i figured this out it is literally the exact size shape and color as the actual laundry basket that i saw in the reference images so what can I say? 400 IQ plays all over the place this build. I mean, I'm I'm popping off, besties. I can't help it. Um, I, <laughs> I was supposed to give life updates and then I got distracted talking about the build, which to be fair, this is a speed build. So really I got distracted doing life updates and then got pulled back into talking about the build, which is why you're all here. And to be fair, my last life update was about the channel and many of you were at that live stream and I thank you for that. Um, so here's for an actual life update and a relevant one because I got to see the end of Evangelion in theaters this week and it was phenomenal. Um, G Kids had a special showing this past week. I went twice. It was amazing. Actually, I think they announced that they're playing it in theaters this weekend still. Um, so if you're watching this the day that it goes up and literally I mean the day it goes up, I am so serious. You should Google and see if they're playing it in a theater near year because it was fantastic. Um, I will say this, first of all, this is an Evangelion movie and it does take place at the end of the show. So it is, it, it's, it's more for people who have seen Evangelion before. Also, not a kid's movie. <laughs> this, this, this channel, um, appeals to a lot of different, different demographics. Um, and, and it, we keep it, we keep it PG over here, besties. Um, but that movie is not anything but, it is anything but, just, just a warning, just a warning, but it was amazing. Um, it was designed to be seen in theaters, besties. I was blown away. It was so loud and the animation was so stunning. I was, oh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Ooh, that green towel, also the, the bath stool and the bucket, also references, direct references. Um, and now we are steaming because you gotta steam your stuff, besties. You gotta, you gotta get the apron on, you gotta get the bandana on, you gotta get the towel out and you gotta, you gotta add shines to your stuff in your build. So we're gonna steam everything in this section of the bathroom just so it's nice and steamy. <laughs> How many times have I said steam in the past like 30 seconds? Um, but yeah, we gotta, we gotta steam everything up. Um, I really wish, if there's one thing I could change about this bathroom, I wish that I could make it more orange because the lighting 
in the actual show is so like warm and I tried my best with the lighting in game to like edit it to make it a little warmer and I, I also tried like using warmer tiles and warmer wallpaper it just wasn't working so I went with the white and I'm glad that I did but I really wish I could have made it like more warm and, and cozy than, than it is it's kind of sterile right now but it is what it is besties i am quite pleased with this bathroom i think it came out really good and it's super cool looking um and not really something that i would normally build and i think we're also going to add a stereo into this room i sort of felt like if we're going to add stereos to the rest of the rooms we might as well add one to this one as well and i think i end up playing kk dub i think it was a newer kk song i can't remember which one we'll see in a second when shinji takes his apron off or his other apron he's still wearing an apron but you know what i mean yes it was kk dub so yeah that is going to be the bathroom we're almost done and we are officially at the halfway point of the house we've done three rooms we have three rooms to go besties um give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far do a good stretch okay we're, we're not at the halfway point of the video the video is going to pick up steam but um <laughs> i should not have said steam i apologize that was an accident um and now we're in shinji's room so we're doing shinji's room now just laugh on our way into shinji ikari's bedroom um, so this room has another one of my 400 level IQ plays in it and possibly the one I'm most proud of. Um, I am so, so pleased with how this room came out. I think it looks perfect. I absolutely love it. And we're about to mess around more with the glow in the dark stickers in a very big way, in a way that, um, once again, I'm very proud of because I am extremely smart and, um, good at Animal Crossing. Um, but we are customizing the glow in the dark stickers to be a second window. So if you'll remember from that helpful, I was about to say graph, of that helpful map of Misato's apartment, all of the bedrooms have access, not all of them, there's like a storage room that becomes, I think, maybe Shinji's bedroom. I don't remember the exact timeline, besties, I'm sorry. Um, but the bedrooms have access to the balcony. That's what I meant to say. The bedrooms have access to the balcony. And so Shinji's room has access to the balcony and a window on the side. And I also wanted to have that accent wall in the back. Um, so that was, uh, it was giving me, I I didn't have a lot to work with. I, I wanted to use the accent wall. And so I couldn't use an accent wall on this wall. So I was like, what if I made a fake like sliding glass door situation with the curtain design and then maybe like a window design and Right now it looks a hot mess, but you're gonna see in a minute, besties. This is this is about to eat. I am so, so proud of how this is gonna turn out. And the key ended up not being the actual uh, glow in the dark sticker custom designs themselves. The key ended up being the neon strip lights, but turned off. It was, it's so weird. I, when you see it, you're going to get it. But right now we're just, we're just messing with it. <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it work, besties. I'm trying to make it work. Past me did not know what she was capable of. She did not know what uh, a genius interior design goddess she was. Um, and she's about to find out. So I came to this place that I'm at now where I didn't like how it looked when it went all the way to the ceiling, but I did like how the curtains looked and I preferred the curtains pulled slightly further in so i got rid of some of the windows and we're gonna finish that curtain on the bottom and then i took these neon lights and i made them in a row like a curtain rod and then i turned them off so that they were like a gray color instead of glowing and it really looked like a curtain rod and especially like when you look at it from far away not to be like oh if you squint and look at it it looks like a curtain rod no but like if you look at it in the context of the whole room when the room is done oh my god it looks amazing I am obsessed with how this room turned out. I don't know if this is my favorite room in the house. It would be between this room and Misato's room because Misato's room is, once you see it, you're gonna know it's my type of room besties. Um, but this room, I just love all of like the details and the references and all of like the exactness. Like this bed with, the sloppy bed with the book on it is so Shinji. But yeah, I just feel like this room really came together super easily. Um, we're adding some more simple panels once again to get that like sliding door effect. I actually, I really wish that like we had more control over the accent walls because I ended up picking to put the accent wall on the back wall in the actual show. Um, that is the actual entrance to Shinji's room. Um, but here obviously the entrance is on the side. So I decided to make it sort of like that's his closet door. I couldn't put the accent wall on both of those walls and then have both of the other walls be plain. So I had to pick and I picked the back wall. That's what we went with. 
Um, and I think it looks good, uh, but we had to improvise a little bit on the side wall, and I think that's okay. Um, that's, once again, this, th this video is all about what is possible in Animal Crossing, and the answer to that is both a lot and also not as much as you might think. Um, <laughs> actually, no, that's not true. It is exactly as much as you would think, which is not a lot, but more than you'd think. They should take my Pulitzer away. Anyways, uh, I have to add in, uh, of course, Shinji's school uniform. I ended up just going with the shirt because the pants took up too much space and it was annoying me. Um, I also really could not decide if I wanted the rug to be blue or purple. It is blue, like like canonically it is blue, but the purple just like looks nicer. And also his Ava is purple. So you can see why the purple, it was on my mind, but I ended up going with the blue in the end. This chair, exactly his chair, the desk, exactly his desk. We gave him a trash can. I did add a couple of things into the room just to make it a little more cozy because his room is very empty. It's literally just like moving boxes and his like, I was gonna say his iPod. He did not have an iPod. He had a Walkman because he was living pre-2000, if you remember. I mean, he's living in 2015, but like technology-wise, he's living pre-2000. But he has his his dad's Walkman with his dad's music on it, and I represented that with the tape deck and the headphones. And I spent a long time picking a song, but I think I ended up going with Farewell. Um, I, I was torn between that and Only Me, just because I thought it would be funny um, <laughs> if Shinji was listening to Only Me in his room. Um, but I ended up going with Farewell, and I feel like that also fits thematically, because Shinji leaves a lot. He's like, I gotta go. I don't, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I gotta go. Um, and we are going to recreate that with one of the villager houses. One of them is going to be the inside of the train. We are building the train station on the island. Um, I really want to recreate the scene where Misato is, like, talking to him from, her, like, down below from her car. Love that scene so much. Um, but we're also going to make the inside of the train. Um, I don't know yet if I want to go with, like, the actual train that he rides, or if I want it to be, like, the, the existential inner mind train car that's, like, orange, but we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That, the train bridge. On the train tracks. I'm sorry, besties. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're just adding in, you know, little trinkets, little, little 14-year-old boy things that they would have in their room. I think at some point I'm gonna add uh, Hazel's photo uh, to represent the photo of Misato that she gives to him as like, this is what I look like so you can find me. Um, I thought that would be very funny. And I think it's in episode 26. In episode 26, when we get like the the running to school with the toast in your mouth scene, if you, if you know, you know, um, when we get that scene in Shinji's room, he has a framed version of that photo. So think about that besties consider that oh now this is very important now we're adding shinji's cello for those of you who don't know shinji ikari plays the cello he might not come off as the type of kid who plays an instrument but he does um and i actually now that i think about it music is like very important to his character like his playing the cello and also um the walkman that he has with him all the time like it's a very important element of his character and this room is full of music and honestly i'm glad that i put music like in the other rooms in the house because originally like i said i wasn't gonna have any music but i'm like maybe i should have some you know what's funny though besties is if you'll recall the best episode of evangelion the one where they have to dance to defeat the monster in that episode they listen to a song where they have to synchronize their movements to the song and learn a dance so they can defeat the monster um <laughs> I was just checking to make sure that I could actually play the cello if I sat the stool where it was, and I couldn't, and then I moved it, and then I could. Um, but yes, they have to defeat a monster through dance, um, and there is a reference to that later in this build. Two rooms from now, besties. We're, we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. It's not as far away as you think, okay? Um, the next couple of rooms are very simple, uh, and then you can move on with your day, and you can be done with me if you so choose, or if you not so choose, if you so choose to watch another video. Um, but you don't have to do that. I don't make the rules. I, I, I can't make you stay. Um, but if you want to stay, you can. Actually, um, for those of you who, who aren't aware, I did uh, actually disappear for six months from YouTube. Um, I explained that in my previous video. It has just occurred to me uh, 40 minutes into this video that I did not mention that at all. Um, and a lot of you might be seeing this in like your recommended or in your sub box for the first time in six months being like, where was she? Um, she didn't explain anything in this video, and I'm here to tell you that I explained it in the last video, which I probably already linked in the card, but if I didn't, I will link it now, and I will surely link it in the description. It is very long, just like this video is, um, <laughs> uh, for some reason. I, okay, to be fair, I'm the one who chose the slower speed for the footage. That was, that was my choice. 
Um, however, I personally get seasick watching back my own um, decorating interiors footage simply because uh, I I spin the camera too fast. And that's that's my own fault, besties. But uh, hopefully, it hasn't made any of you seasick. That's that's my hope, at least. At the very least, if I gotta make you sit here with me for an hour and, and ramble about Animal Crossing and, and Evangelion, at the very least, I would hope I did not make you nauseous. Um, but we're actually almost done with Shinji's room. What did I tell you? What did I tell you about about time just flying by? I was deciding if I wanted to put a record on his wall. I considered only me. Once again, I think that's very funny. He does have like little post-it notes or sticky notes on his wall. Um, but I ended up, I think, putting this plaque. Just something boring. Shinji is a very transient character. He, he he doesn't really feel at home in Misato's apartment, even though that that's that's like a big conflict of the show is him not feeling at home anywhere, even though he does live there and his things are there. Um, that's why he has like his suitcase out and his shoes. He should not have his shoes in his room. Keep your shoes by the door. Um, <laughs> he should not have his shoes there, but uh, he does have his his suitcase and and his boxes and everything. You know, he he feels like he could be out the door at any minute, but he's not. He, he's he's there for at least um 26 episodes give or take and we are here at the end of shinji's room uh this is the final result i think that it is very shinji um and that means that we only have two rooms left and the next room is going to be misato's room this i think might be my favorite room besties and you're gonna see why in a minute um if you know anything about misato and what i said earlier about um a messy room besties this is a messy room. Misato as a character is kind of a girl boss, but also uh, a fail girl, if you will. Um, she's going through a lot. She's been through a lot. Remember that thing I said earlier about Antarctica? Yeah, she's been through a lot, and she and she continues to. Um, but you know, she she is high up at Nerve. Uh, she wears an incredible outfit to work every day. She slays. She can't help it. Um, and she's a mother. She's a mother, okay, to Shinji. <laughs> Lord knows he needs it. Um, she's also kind of father as well. Um, but once I decided that I wasn't going to try and do Asuka and Misato's rooms, and I was just going to go full Misato mode, that might have been the best choice that I made in this build. I say might because the, the next room in this build is actually, I think, pretty genius of me. Um, but I, it was just so freeing. Like, she has so much clutter in her room. Her room is just full of trash and boxes and clothes on the floor and books on the floor and just all this stuff. And I was able to actually place it down because I had the space to do it. I did make the room slightly smaller. And I also um, added that partition wall just so um, there wasn't a window back there because I wanted a window on one side but not the other side, which is another thing Animal Crossing doesn't let you do for some reason. Um, I think it's interesting, like what arbitrary things the game like lets you and not lets you do that's not a sentence that's not a sentence but i'm not going to re-record it i'm going to stand in it um <laughs> i just think it's interesting what the game wants you to be able to do and what it doesn't want you to be able to do i don't know uh, but this this room came together so easily i was just like i was in my natural habitat besties like uh, putting socks on the floor that's me to a t and it was so easy all the objects like that lamp is literally like her lamp that stereo that's her stereo she has that same futon um the desk actually i ended up going with that nordic table thing <laughs> it's not a thing it's a table i literally just said that um i ended up going with that as opposed to the sloppy table which is what was in my plan because of course it's the sloppy table it has junk all underneath it but i it fits better with the aesthetic from the show and I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. I already used the sloppy table in the kitchen. We don't need to use it again. We can we can use other things. Um, also, you may have noticed on the stereo, I put a KK Love song. And there are some references in this room that might make you sad. But if you don't know, then you you are safe. You, your mind is free. Your your ignorance is, is bliss. <laughs> um, but her room is full of boxes. It's full of laundry. This house has a lot of laundry. It started in the bathroom, but it's spreading. There's going to be this laundry rack is in the bathroom. It's in her room and it's in the next room. It's all over the place. And this um, like like suit folding rack thing, which I don't think I have ever used in this game. I don't think I've used that not one time, uh, but this was the perfect time to use it because she has to get dressed for work. You know, she doesn't like wear a suit every day, but like there are like times in the show when she has to go to like an event or a conference or something. Remember Jet Alone? You don't, that's okay. But if you do, you'll remember she had to get dressed. 
to go see Jet alone. So there's that. Also, she has skateboards in her room. Did you know that? Did you know that she that she skates? Good for her. She's such a oh, she's such she's such a girl boss. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at Shinji go as he desperately tries to turn off the the ventilation fan. I ended up using that object a lot in this house, and it is very loud. That thing that I mentioned earlier about ambient noise, yeah, that, if I had gone with ambient noise, that would have been the noise. That would have been the noise. I don't know why it's so much louder than all the other stuff that, that like, the that makes noise like that, like air conditioning and fans and stuff like that. I don't know why. It just is. It's just so loud. We gotta, we gotta add the spider webs, besties. We gotta add the spider webs. This, of all the rooms to add them, this, this has to be it. And we're also gonna add this clock. Um, we're gonna add a couple of other things on this wall. We're gonna add a very cool custom design, which I will also make sure to have in the description. I actually just found it by searching the portal for Misato, um, but I found these cute little uniforms that look like Misato, and I decided to hang them on the wall. I was originally gonna use like a piece of clothing that comes with the game, but this is more fun. This is better. Having her actual uniform, that's way better. But yeah, this is this is Misato's room coming together. Um, we're about to start adding the trash, which I'm very excited about. That part was super fun. First, we're gonna add um, some wires to go next to her her big stereo. Um, we're also gonna add some documents on the ground next to her desk, and we're gonna add uh, those those references that I mentioned before on her desk. Oh, speaking speak of the devil, here comes one now. We have a picture of Kaji. Uh, we have a picture of Kaji going next to the desk. There we go. There he is. Um, actually, originally, okay, first of all, originally, I was gonna put a photo, like, on a shelf, but then I ended up going with those skinny bookshelves that you can't put anything on top of, which is dumb, and I hate it, um, and it didn't really fit, like, on the wall, looking like it was on top of the bookshelf, if you've ever done that before, where you've put something on the wall, but it looks like it's on a shelf. I tried doing that, didn't work out. Um, I also considered using the Happy Home Paradise photo, uh, just because it's, like, three friends, and... You know, Misato famously has a photo of her and her two friends. Um, that makes me very emotional to think about. So uh, I thought about doing that, but I thought that the that the the Kyle photo was way more straightforward, and it I think it was a funny parallel to the Misato photo or the Hazel photo. I'm sorry, in Shinji's room. Uh, oh, speaking of references, besties, I just added um, her phone on her desk. Uh, the black I, I I ended up using the fax machine, but the black phone on her desk. Um, I'm sorry about that for any Evangelion fans. I'm sorry you had to see that. Um, uh, the, the the lamp is a reference in the sense that she has that lamp on her desk, but it, no one cares. But now we're getting to some stuff that people do care about, which is trash and garbage. Um, that was the thing that I was most excited about with this room. I was tired of like the minimalist empty spaces. Not that the house is particularly empty. I feel like the kitchen is the most empty out of all the rooms just because of how big it is and like the weird shape of the room. Um, but I, I just wanted to put some trash on the ground. I wanted my bag of chips back. I wanted I wanted my my scattered papers back. The all the bottles everywhere. I just I wanted it so badly, besties. And I'm so happy that Misato allowed me to make a messy room in this house. And I had to put a sock on the ground. You know how much I love to put a sock on the ground. To be fair though, I did put a sock on the ground in the bathroom, and I'm gonna put a sock on the ground in the next room. But what do all those rooms have in common? They all have laundry in them. So think about that besties uh i'm actually really excited for the last room of this house i like i said before i think that i slayed a little bit not to brag or anything i mean listen we are almost an hour into this now i feel like i deserve that i feel like i i deserve that right if you're here with me through the rest of this and you got all the way here then you can handle a little bit of me bragging about my, my build skills not that i wasn't doing that for the rest of the video but you know what i mean besties we're actually almost done with Misato's room. What did I say? These last couple of rooms are just gonna move like a clip. Honestly, these these final rooms, I uh, I, I stuck to my plan. Uh, my plan was immaculate and uh, it worked as soon as I brought it over from the room sketch app and I'm very happy with how they turned out. So here it is, Misato's room, very beautiful. She has a Go KK writer above her desk uh, because she's a girl boss. Um, and now we're heading to the final room of the build in the basement. Uh, but we're not in the basement, besties. We're actually in the sky. That's not true. We're not in the sky. We're on the balcony, besties. I decided the final room of the build was going to be the balcony. Um, you're going to be able to see it when we do the outside of Misato's house. We are going to do an entire, like, 
apartment complex out of different houses, like the different player characters' houses. We're gonna build like something that looks like they're all connected to each other. But we're not building that today. So right now we're building what it would look like if you were inside the apartment going to the balcony, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but Misato has a balcony and I had an extra room available and it actually honestly turned out really, really good. I was very impressed by how well this turned out and how good it looks and like how realistic it looks. This is where I was like, oh girl, you're really pushing yourself now. You're really pushing yourself. I did add the city noises. I kind of want to add other noises to the other rooms. But I don't know what noises to add, but the city noise for this room felt really obvious to me. Um, make sure to use all of the tools available to you in your builds besties. You gotta shine things. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta add the sound effects. You gotta change the lighting. You gotta do all that stuff. Um, right now we're building like the actual architecture of the balconies. So on the sides, we have those really thick pillars. And then we also have the tall kitchen counters to sort of act, I don't know. Her balcony has like, like triangular edges. So I couldn't really create that in Animal Crossing, but I tried my best. Um, and now we're just gonna create the front with these short, simple panels and they sort of go all the way across. I think I accidentally, yeah, I, I, I didn't make that pillar uh, big enough, um, but actually behind those simple panels, we're gonna put more of those tile mats and we're gonna use the all black custom design that I have uh, to make it look like it's like, there's, it's like a hole, I guess. I, it's not a hole. It's, it's supposed to be like the ground. That's what I mean to say. It's supposed to be like the ground down there. Um, I really wish that I had enough custom design slots that I could have like a tiny road with little tiny cars. That would be really cute. But uh, I think that this is easier and less strain on my brain because my brain is already really working overtime with all of these 400 IQ plays that I've been making this entire time, including the inclusion of this room in the first place. So to ask any more of her would just be too much at this point, honestly. Speaking of 400 IQ plays though, uh, the incredible neon lights are back. And this time they're actually turned on because we needed some light on the balcony and that just ended up being my favorite one. I also experimented with lighting up the city part by putting lights in the, the area that's supposed to be blank. Um, but it just, it looked weird. And at that point I was, I was just tired of, of going to get more objects. So I was like, no, we're not doing that right now. Maybe later, maybe later. Uh, right now I'm replacing those simple panels with, uh, glow in the dark stickers because I was like, it will actually look like windows if you do that. And I was right about that. And I even used some of the simple panels as doors in front of the windows. So think about that besties, consider that. The glow in the dark sticker object is so cracked. You can just do so much with it. And the combining that with like just how many amazing and creative custom designs there are out there, plus like what you're able to make yourself too. It's it's like just genuinely limitless. Like it's so much more fun decorating interiors post 2.0 update. Like they really, you know, they they said, you know what? You called us on our bluff and 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 we're here to correct our, our, our wrongs and make it right. And uh, they did, and then they left. So, much to think about with that. Uh, but we added in that incredibly loud ventilation fan. And I'm gonna do something else that, m I think it's my final 400 IQ play of the video, but it is possibly my, my biggest brain thing that I've done all day. I'm taking these wall fans and I'm hiding them in the 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 counters so you can't see them but it blows on the trees to look like wind besties what did i say what did i say about mensa what did i say what did i say where are my where are my accolades um god these plants are actually like visible in the show when they do like a, an establishing shot of misato's apartment i just think that her like identical uh, little trees on her balcony are very funny to me and I'm so glad I was able to include them and I just think the wind detail is just chef's kiss like I they shouldn't they should take this game away from me I'm I'm making big moves okay I'm, I'm playing 4d chess with this game um Nintendo doesn't know what I'm capable of and they should be scared um and I am about to put more laundry on this balcony because I I, I am only capable of doing one thing, and that is putting a sock on the ground. At the end of the day, besties, at the end of the day, no matter how many 400 IQ plays I make in this video, it's just gonna end with me putting a sock on the ground. That's just the reality. 
and you have to deal with it because you're here. You made it. You're an hour in. It's too late. You can't leave now. You have to stay. <laughs> you're committed, okay? We're in this together. And we're actually almost done with this together. Um, I'm adding more loud things to the balcony. I did end up turning that air conditioner off because it was just too much. Um, I also added that book, which I ended up taking away, I think. I kind of wish I had left it. This balcony is very minimal, and I don't mind that. I kind of like it. I was literally saying, like, what, five minutes ago how I was tired of everything being minimalist, but I think I, I like it for the balcony. The balcony, it's good. The balcony, it's good. This whole corner with the laundry and everything and the radio and the headphones is a reference to that scene um, in the dancing episode, the best one, um, where they're on the balcony listening to the headphones together, studying their music. And I ended up picking a uh, KK Tango, I think, for the balcony because they're, I mean, they're doing the tango besties. Like they gotta, they gotta, they gotta work together. It takes two to tango. And that's what they did, and they defeated the monster, and it was it was amazing. Um, but yeah, that's that was my favorite reference, I think, of the whole build. Actually, no, I think it is. I think it is. I love that episode so much, so it was really fun. I thought that we were done with the 400 IQ level plays, but we were not, because we're adding seagulls. And this is another reference to the very first episode of Evangelion. So look at that, besties. I, I can't be stopped. What are they going to do? Like, how can they stop me? They have to take the game away from me. I don't know. I don't know what else they could possibly do. Except ending the video, of course, which is happening right now because I have impeccable timing. And that's the build. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I am so proud of how this turned out. I feel like I really went out of my comfort zone doing these interior spaces. And I'm really excited to try the more experimental, I guess, ideas that I have for the different character houses, but just doing like a normal apartment in a sort of different way than I normally would was really, really fun and I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. In fact, if you liked this video, you can give it a like to let me know, really appreciate it. If you really liked this video, you can leave a comment letting me know as well. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post or go live. Like I mentioned previously, uh, I'm both in the process of villager hunting for this island and I'm planning on doing a, another charity stream next month in April. We'll probably be doing dream address tours. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. As I mentioned, there's gonna be a little showcase of all of the rooms at the end of this build. Uh, I think for the next build, I think I want to do the train station. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, I hope to see you all very soon. Bye, besties.